Praise the Lord. Can I see excitement in God's presence this moment? Let me see your joy. Like you're sure that this is the reality today. Celebrate, celebrate. Hallelujah. First and foremost, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the provincial minister, Honorable Elisha Matambo, who's in our midst. Also the presence of Honorable Chipoka Molenga MP, Minister of Commerce and Industry. And also the presence of the District Commissioner Chingola, Mr. Chimupi Raphael. We can celebrate their praises no matter at this moment. Please, we may take our seats. We welcome you to this uh, wonderful day once more. Uh, we're going to invite our spiritual father, our dear father, Pastor Felix Mlenga, to come forward and welcome us to this official launch of Promise Television. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Honorable Minister of Copper Belt, Elisha Matambo. Honorable Minister of Commerce, Mulenga Chipoka. Chingola District Commission, Mr. Chimupi. Honorable Member of Parliament for Selenje, George Kandafla. All protocol observed. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to this wonderful program. I believe that God prepared a day like this. Honorable Minister, let me say thank you for your presence. This is my first time of, you know, hosting government officials. This church has been there from MMD up to now. I've been, you know, hiding and working in isolation. But by the grace of God, God has permitted me to host you today. I'm proud of you and I'm happy that you are here. I don't want to say much, but I trust God that uh, we are here because of this wonderful program. Today, 5th of August, 2024, to me and to the children and sons of this ministry, you can see that there are people who have come all the way from Selenje, like the honorable member of parliament. He comes here. I know him within this church, not anywhere. He comes here for prayers. There are people who came from Kabwe, uh, Solwes, different blesses. Thank you for this love and for this commitment. God Almighty is going to reward you big time. And uh, I want to assure you honorable ministers that you'll be proud of what will come out of this land. Personally, I don't compromise with the voice of the Holy Spirit. I would rather follow the voice of the Holy Spirit than majority because that is what made me to be who I am today. I am a man of vision. I may look small in your eyes, but I'm a giant in the spirit. <laughs> Honorable Minister, what you're about to launch today, I saw it when the church was very small. If I'm not mistaken, the number were just 70. Then I told the congregation, I said, we are going to open our own TV station. You know, it, it, it doesn't make sense. You know your number. You know your financial muscle. And then you are talking about big things. But because, you know, I saw it, that it is coming. God showed me that you opened the TV station. This Promise TV is not to do anything 
of this, you know, flesh or with heal intentions, it is to preach the word of God. Our mission as the family of Jesus, a church of all believers, is to bring people to Jesus and to let everyone around us be part of Jesus Christ. That is what we are standing for and that is what we are living for and that is what we are going to die for. I'm grateful to God Almighty and uh, I believe that Honorable Minister, your coming here is a blessing to me and the ministry. I believe that God Almighty prepared a day like this one that will be in this place because God's time is always the best. Your coming here is a blessing because we need to acknowledge the presence of the government. No matter how big and great you are, government is the father of everyone in the nation. So your presence is very, very important. Good morning, fellow Christians. I want to recognize the presence of the guest of honor, Honorable Elisha Matambo. I also want to recognize the presence of a member of parliament for Chingola constituency, Honorable Chipoka Mlenga, who is also Minister of Commerce, Trade and Industry. I want to recognize the presence of our provincial officials from the ruling party, the UPND, who are here, and also the district officials, and all our Christians who are in this hall, welcome. I have no remarks per se. My role is very, very simple this morning. It's merely to raise our member of parliament for Chingola constituency, at the same time, Commerce Minister, to say a few words, and then we'll call upon the guest of honor to speak to us. On a boat, for coming us. I greet you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning. Good morning. I just want to thank God Almighty who has given us the free gift of life to even be a part of this blessing here today. Allow me to recognize the presence of my leader and my provincial minister, Honorable Elisha Matambo. To you, our minister, and your entire entourage, you are welcome to Chingola Constituents. Allow me also to recognize Tubutukile who have come to be a part of us while we are witnessing this great milestone here in Chingola where we are going to have our first ever TV station. I stand here very excited, not just because I am your public servant in the office of the member of parliament but because it is happening in a town where i reside and i was so excited that my chairperson and my provincial minister is also a clergy and quickly before i call upon the minister just allow me he will bring the greetings from his excellency the minister but allow me to recognize the call of god that the servant of God has responded to. Go ye and make disciples of all nations. Making disciples of all nations is even through social media, through radios, and now here in Chingola through Promise TV. We are so blessed and we are so thankful. And I pray genuinely and earnestly that as this TV will be launched today by the minister, it remains to be the sort of this land. Many souls shall be saved. I stand here very proud that this milestone we are achieving will see many people turn their lives to God. With these remarks, Vashmai Po, as we continue to live as one, residents of this constituency and the district at large, allow me to call upon pastor, minister, Elisha Matambo, Provincial Chairperson and Minister for the Copper Belt. Thank you very much. Mm. 
I want to recognize uh, the presence of our Father in the Lord, uh, Pastor Mulenga, the Honorable Minister of Commerce, my brother, Honorable Chipoka, who is also a preacher man. He also preaches the Word of God, uh, the Member of Parliament for Chingola Central. The Honorable Member of Parliament for Challenge, my brother is also a neighbor of mine at Parliament Montel. <laughs> the presence of the District Commissioner, uh, members of the DGLC, our officials from UPND and other political parties, my sister, Mrs. Kazala. Let me just say, other government officials who are here, Mr. Nole and the team, the media, and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. We want to recognize your presence. I want to bring greetings from His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Kainde Ichirema. Valemi Poshawon said, March 10, celebrate the launching of this TV station. I want to say that um, the Lord knew this day before the foundation and the creation of earth. He knew what was going to happen. Our Father in the Lord says, um, it's the first time to us, the government officials, this is how it was planned by the Creator himself, that this will be the day. Chingola, the past few months, has been known of having bad news. That was what was prominent, the burying of our brothers who were buried at Sensei Mine which sent fear in the minds of a lot of people. KCM was going under liquidation. And a lot of other things, especially after the accident of Sensele Mine. I remember when I was here, we camped in Chingola. We were trying to retrieve the bodies and um, trying to retrieve the survivors at Sensele Mine together with my brother, Honorable Chipoka, Honorable Bokawuswe, and others, and several servants of God. It was like the entire town was shut down in grief of what was happening. But I didn't know that uh, besides other servants of God, I didn't know we had giants in the kingdom of God who were busy interceding on our behalf, like the pastor, our father here. I didn't know. I've come to learn that we, are, we have another giant in the kingdom of God interceding on behalf of Chingola and all of us. We have two fights on earth. There's a fight in the spirit and the fight in the physical. You can only win the fight in the physical if you win your fight in the spirit, then it will manifest in the physical. And winning the fight in the spirit requires giants, powerful servants of God like our Father here, who will fight with demons, who will fight in Ngulu, Shakuchingola. The Bible says we do not fight flesh and blood by principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and we need giants like him. We are very delighted, honored to be in your presence. Thank you for inviting us, our Father in the Lord, to come and launch this TV station. The Bible in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20, it says, Go therefore to all nations and make disciples, 
Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this is what exactly this TV station is going to do. Besides that, His Excellency the President has been preaching about morals in our country. We also need TV stations which will be professional. And this one I'm sure, very sure, under the leadership of the servant of God, it will be professional and go a spade, a spade, and not a spade, a spoon. This is the more reason why we are all here to try and support this project. And it will have to succeed at all costs. I want to say that um, when Zambia was declared a Christian nation, we declared the fight with the devil. His Excellency the President will come in with a new donor administration, with the good policies and everything, but we need servant of God to stand in the gap and pray for this government to succeed. And this is one of the servants of God who is here. Even through this television station we are opening today. So I want to assure the people as provincial administration, we will definitely support this project. Besides that, he has also created employment for those who will be working at this TV station. Those who will be employed. We are discussing with the Honorable Minister Chipoka that it's projects such as this one where funds like CDF is supposed to come in and assist this project to go forward. We will stand side by side, make sure that this TV station succeeds. My office will remain open for any, anything which will be needed, any support will be at your dis disposal. And to all of us, sometimes things like this come with propaganda. It comes with um, lies and so on and so forth. Devil tafu afyo kumuchimfia ikala zi. Alepul and Apofimo about this TV station. And we've seen those fights which servants of God go through. We should not remain quiet. The devil is always going to remain a liar. He was defeated many years ago. Let us stand side by side with the servant of God, even in the midst of propaganda, so that this project succeed. <laughs> servant of God. The Lord who started with you who will see you through. This is just the beginning. Many things are coming. The devil will fight but will never win because the Lord will always be with you. God bless everyone. Let me declare and launch this TV station officially open. Thank you so much.
Oh, 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 oh,